What's up guys, Ghost Rider A22005 here bringing you guys another action figure review. Today I'll be reviewing the Sugar Man Builder figure way, but before we do that, I'm going to do a little ranking of each figure. So we're going to move the camera back real quick, and it'll be a cut of like which one's my favorite. It'll go least favorite to favorite. So yeah, uh, enjoy, and then we'll get into the Sugar Man review. Starting off at the bottom, it's going to be Jean Grey. I know that the figure looked really cool, and it's actually a really nice figure. It's just that... You know, she doesn't come with a lot of accessories, which really none of the figures do. But the main problem I have with her is she barely crunches forward, but crunches back so much. If, they, if that could switch around, like, say, if she didn't have a front butt, she crunches forward. If she crunches forward about as much as it crunches back, then that would be, I'd appreciate it a lot more. But the um, crunch is really bad. Swivel is actually pretty nice, and I just think the shoulder pads do look a bit too big than the arms. That's just my personal opinion, and this design is definitely my least favorite from the entire series. But she's not a bad figure, and I think if you liked AOA and you like Jean, you should definitely get her. And coming in sixth place, we do have X Man. He is a pretty cool figure, and I love the sculpt for the little eye thing and the trench coat's pretty nice. He just again doesn't come with like any accessories at all, and that really knocks him down the list. And I don't know too much about the character to enjoy him. And, like I know his story from the um comic book, but he was never my favorite. And, I don't know, he's just, number six, uh, there's figures in the way that I enjoy more, but he's still a good figure. Coming in fifth place, it's going to definitely be Morph. I really like his AOA design, and the figure articulation is really nice, definitely with the Sunfire body mold. And I think it's, this figure's a lot of fun, since you can definitely pop off his head and put different heads on there to demonstrate his abilities. Uh, the problem is the cape definitely gets in the way of articulation, and the design is a bit bland. The cape's really cool, but it's just a, kind of a bland figure. And again, the problem with the way, no accessories, but, you know, it's more if you don't really need a ton, but, like, an extra head and an extra pair of hands would have been nice. Coming in at fourth place is definitely going to be Sunfire. I think he's a really nice figure, but, again, you know, the accessory problem, and he would probably be a bit higher on the list if every time I moved his head, his head didn't just pop off. That's really annoying. Most figures, it's not a problem. Like, say, Cyclops, if I look, get his head to look up, it doesn't just pop off. Whenever I move his head upwards, it just pops off, so that's a bit annoying. And, I mean, again, this, he has really cool design. Definitely my favorite Sunfire design. I love the mask. It's just not my favorite figure from the wave. Coming in third place is definitely going to be Wild Child. The articulation of this figure is really nice. I did miss this point that Jordan was just kind of stuck. So he can crunch all the way in. It does kind of pop back sometimes. But, yeah, I really like Wild Child's articulation. I like the f character. I like the figure. The chain's really cool. I cannot wait for a Sabretooth to come in. That'll definitely make this figure so much better. And if this way you had a Sabretooth in it, he probably would be number one. But yeah, his articulation is really nice. The color is really nice. The chain, um, No mis paint mishaps at all. The face sculpt's really nice. And that's why he's number three. I know this might be an unpopular opinion, but coming in second place is definitely going to be Dark Beast. I love this guy a lot. And he's a lot of fun. The articulation is really great. Although it is sucky that you can't really get him to look up too much. And every time I rotate his head, it gets stuck, so I can't get a really nice just rotation. And he doesn't get to move around a lot, and his feet are kind of tiny, so he has trouble standing. But I think the figure is really nice, and Dark Beast is a really cool character, and he's a really nice figure. So if you see him, you should definitely get him, because I'm sure he's going to be one of the harder ones to find. And coming in first place is definitely going to have to be Wolverine, or Weapon X, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I really like this figure, even though the back, from the back, his head is kind of ugly. I do think that you can get a lot more range with him with that looking like that you can get a lot more just movement with it and i really like that he comes with the stump without the claw and the claw it adds a lot more playability to the figure the articulation is great although i do wish he had a boot cut but that's fine but yeah that's why he's number one so let's get into building sugar man i'm gonna go into building sugar man and i'm gonna go over which parts come with which this one comes with wild child this one comes with wolverine this one comes with morph the hammer comes with dark beast this arm and this arm come with sunfire this arm and this arm called X-Man, and the face and the kind of torso part come with Jean. All right, so we already have the hammer and the um, arm, so we're just going to leave that there. I'm going to move some stuff around so I can actually reach over here. <clears throat> so we're going to get the torso, we're going to get the back, and it kind of connects like... Uh, we got to move things out of the way. Move the belt down. And we're going to attempt to... There we go. Kind of, kind of, kind of just connects like that. And I think what you do is you put it like 
like so, and then, okay, maybe you aren't, okay, you get out first, I'm guessing, um, yeah, so I guess that's what you're supposed to do, move that back, move that up here, here we go, uh, I guess put the legs on, which I, it's really tiny legs for this big figure, so, so it stands up, and these are not going on, I go, okay, give me a second, um, Okay, there's one leg. I uh, wish got to maybe rotate it a bit. There we go. I'm going to put this one on. It's going to take me, I guess, another minute and a half to do. Good Lord. Come on. Yeah, I think we're gonna... getting it. Come on. There we go. I think. Hold up. I think we got it. And I really hope this guy can stand by himself. I mean, I have stands at the ready just in case he can't. But, okay, so now we're going to plug in this hammer arm. Just in that joint. Here we go. Pop there. This one. <clears throat> there that goes. This one's just going to go here. And this one is just going to here. And here he is. And if I was to sit here and tell you that this isn't the most attractive thing I've ever seen in my life, I'd be lying. All jokes aside, or not jokes, uh, Sugar Man is, has a lot of great detail and sculpt. Uh, this tongue is <clears throat> really gnarly looking. I like the hammer. It has a lot of marbling, which I know bothers a lot of people, but it doesn't really bother me. If you wanted to, you could switch arms. And, you know, like this one goes here, this one goes here, and, like, switch which one holds the hammer. You have all these pins, like a Deadpool one. Uh, I don't know what that one is. That's just regular the pen. None over here. The pilgrim belts look really cool. And if you wanted to uh, take the hammer, which we're not going to go over accessories because I don't know. You don't have to. Um, the hands do come off. You rotate them too easily. I think it just plugs in like this. Just give me a second. Put this in there. We're just going to stop recording. And there's the hammer in its little pouch. And I think it looks cool, but he didn't have his open grip hands. So I think I'd personally just leave it in his hand. Going into articulation, uh, I was going to go over one of the arms up here. It can be hindered, like here, so you, like, it rotates there. You can, like, go in and out like that, but you can't get it flat down right here. But if you want to have it flat down, you'd want to rotate it up like that and go down like that. So you can get it like that, but, like, you can't, like, get it flat down right here, which is okay. Uh, these both arms rotate like so, but they do pop out if you don't make sure they're all, like, Popped in, which I don't think this one is, but let's just go with this one instead. You can rotate right there. Double jointed elbows, which are really cool. Wrist rotation hinges in and out, and that's for each hand and arm and stuff like that. He rotates um here, but like I don't know when you which you so you can get in like a really cool stance, just looking that way or looking that way, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, he kicks forward. Um, I about that much back about that much uh, he does have the thigh cut there he can only kick out about that much uh he has a knee bend which is a bit tight which i'm not complaining about because this guy's kind of heavy i want him to be able to hold himself up and he has ankle that goes down up and ankle pivot and here's sugar right next to the rest of the wave and i can't reach them right now so uh you can look at them for a minute uh and i <clears throat> i can't stress it enough how much i love this wave it's so cool great character selection Great build a figure. I love this dude. The sculpt is great. He is kind of wacky looking, but I just like that. And uh, I do think if you're a fan of Age of Apocalypse or just a fan of X Men in general, you should you owe it to yourself to get this wave. I think most of the figures will be easy because people don't really know who Morph is. They don't really care for the design of Jean Grey. Don't know who he is, or Wild Child or X Men. I'm pretty sure the only ones that'll be hard to find will be Sunfire and Dark Beast. But uh, I think you owe it to yourself to get this wave. And if you want to wait until the figures go down in price, I, you can do that. But I do highly, highly suggest you get this wave because it's a lot of fun. The link to get them all in Big Bad Toy Store is in the description because uh, Hazard Pulse isn't selling them as one thing, which I usually link them as my uh, buyer thing. But definitely get this wave if you can. Here is Sugar Man next to Warlock Build-A-Figure Wave Cyclops. Here he is next to Mezco's Sovereign Knight Batman. Here he is next to DC Direct Pirate Batman. 
Here is next to McFarlane Superman with a custom wired cable got off eBay. Here he is next to MK11 McFarlane Toys Spawn. And finally, here he is next to a Clone Trooper in a hat. And that's my review. Overall, I think this figure is really nice. He doesn't have the greatest articulation, so you can't really get him in super dynamic poses like you can with most Marvel Legends. But he's really cool looking. And if you have him on your shelf, then you will be really pleased with the way he looks. I am going to make just a uh, Age of Apocalypse shelf by itself at my dad's. So he won't be with my other Marvel Legends. So if I ever do a collection update for these with the Age of Apocalypse figures, it'll just be them by themselves. But uh, I think this figure is really cool. I think the wave is really nice. <clears throat> and most people might not buy it because they aren't familiar with the Age of Apocalypse storyline. Which Go on YouTube. Look at a comic store and video. I'm sure he's done one. You should definitely give it a listen or a watch or a read, whatever, whichever one you like to do. Uh, I think this figure is really nice. Uh, if you can find the wave for at least uh, retail price, you should definitely get it. And yeah, hope you guys really like this review. Uh, next up on the review list is Spawn. And then we sh I have the Arkham Batman and Joker coming. And then after that, I don't know. But you know, we'll figure it out as we go. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the entire wave review. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh. I wanna be like you, I do